Welcome, welcome here on uh, I need help at uh, C squared. I mean, in this uh, example, we're going to look to a function and we need to find the zeros of the function. And I said here, uh, finding algebraically or graphically. I will do it algebraically. And how we do that? We need to factor out, we need to factor out this x cubed minus 36x. So the first thing I'm going to factor out is an x. Right, the GCF, how it's called, an x squared minus 36. So this is GCF method, right? And then we notice uh, that we have uh, another uh, polynomial, another quadratic, this one, this one. This is what we call difference of squares. Okay, the famous one is very useful. You will see in this case x times x minus 6, x plus 6. So this is the factor form of this polynomial f of x. So what now? Eh, now we're going to set up the polynomial equals to 0 because we need to find the zeros. And we go to that famous property which is called zero product property which means every single factor needs to be equals to zero and the first factor is x x equals zero with a zero of this polynomial and the second factor is x minus six which you're going to make it equals to zero by based on zero product property and you get x equals six and we have the third one, x plus 6 equals to 0, which is going to give us x equals negative 6. These are the 0 of this function. Okay, uh, 0, 6, and negative 6. Let me clear this screen. And I'll write them again, x equals 0, x equals 6 x equals negative 6. Now let's take a look to the graph. And you see the graph here. We see the negative 6. We see the 0. We see the 6. So yeah, sometimes you may want to use a graphing calculator. However, this problem, I think you should try algebraically first. It's not a problem that you really should use a graphing calculator to see the zeros. If uh, you learn, if you enjoy the video, people, don't forget to click the like button and come back when I need help at C-square. Thank you.